like 65 over the lake bed in a stock production vehicle. This is crazy. Courtney and I are gonna go and test drive the brand new Ford Bronco here in just a minute. But until then, I want to show you guys. Ford uh, actually brought out the ba a bare chassis, a bare like frame and um, suspension, axles, and all those that stuff without a body, so we can take a little closer look of what's underneath this thing. So let's go check this out. As you guys probably already know, it's got independent suspension. Comes with Bielstein shocks. But then what's really cool is you see actually apparently the diff. It's the same as in a brand new Jeep Rubicon, just as an independent front suspension version. Got a really smart uh, sway bar setup here. Disconnectable sway bar, skid plates, exhaust, solid rear axle. Pretty awesome. All right, and now we can actually check out. They have some really cool Broncos here already on display with some of the aftermarket parts already on it, which I think is super cool. All right, my alarm just went off. I think it's time to go. All right, Rich, tell me a little bit about this Bronco really quick. This is the Badlands Edition, and it's an impressive piece. It, this vehicle is very spirited. Okay. Much like the Bronco name. I like it. It will, uh, it will hold up to that reputation yeah. for sure. You've been driving it for a few days. Two so. days now. Two the days. audience is, is just amazed by the performance, and so am I. Yeah. So the doors all remove. Yeah. The tops are all paneled, the doors all removed, the doors and front fenders are all aluminum. This is the only steel panel on the vehicle from what I've been told. Okay. Even the, even the tailgate is all aluminum. So it has a great hydraulic system that stops at different components on the way out. So it won't slam all right. down on you if you're and on the incline. And great. then it has these bags to put the doors in if you remove them. It's an integral roll cage okay. built into the chassis and the, and the pillars. Very cool, you can see all, this is all removable. All removable panels. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now I'm seeing a Bronco with the top down, so I'm going to show you that really quick as well. So that looks pretty awesome actually. Just wanted to show you guys. That looks good. If you open the door, at the top. Very cool. What color would you take? Ooh. Ooh. I like this. I like that this, one. Yeah. It's a cool red too. The red with the black grill looks yeah. good. Yeah, I, like I think the deeper red. This or like like an art, like a color, like your hoodie would be cool. I think they make something like that yeah. too. I like that one. Yeah. Bronco, Bronco, baby. So we're gonna throw this into a normal mode. There's, there's uh, what seven settings right here on the dash. Oh, so that looks go super all the way to cool. The left. You know, we have this eco. We have slippery. We have mud and ruts. Then we have the sand mode, and then of course my favorite is the Baja road, Baja that is mode. So cool. And of course, right after that, we have the uh, the, the rock crawl portion. <laughs> so this is just a normal driving mode yeah. right now. <laughs> this vehicle has got 30 pounds of tire pressure. It's stock, and we're in normal two-wheel drive right now. Um, 
anybody in the back seat uh, that feels woozy or or anything let me know because <laughs> this ride's going to be quite spirited good <laughs> So the Badlands edition, and excuse me for the terminology, but is basically the Rubicon of the Bronco. Is that I believe so, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So time. there's parameters from what I understand from the Ford guys that will this allow those to be this set. Is so clear. And those parameters are all over, so you can have, it shuts off at 20 miles an hour. Right now we're going 14, 15. Okay. So as we accelerate, it could shut off. I don't know the setting on this vehicle because um, I haven't driven this vehicle yet today. They just rotate us around and every one of these vehicles has different packages and these are pre-production trucks okay um, they are not out yet but obviously they're finished press vehicles so to say i love it so the modes also if you let's say you go into baja mode like it, it engages a four high i'm assuming correct and you can do that on the fly and you can go back out of it on the fly that's really cool one of the components of this as we'll talk about on the trail is that we have to shift into neutral when we go into rock crawl mode or out of rock crawl mode. Okay. So, again, um, we've kind of know this route. I know where to look. I'm being as cautious as possible, and I, I'm familiar with it. So I wouldn't encourage driving like this. <laughs> all the time. So we're gonna make a right turn right up here, and um, and you know this thing's really stable and quite nice and comfortable. And there's a right turn. Now we're just in a regular stock mode. Nothing special here. Okay. Now nice. we're, we're doing like 65 over the lake bed in a stock production vehicle. Yeah. This is crazy. With 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 <laughs> yeah with trepidation and of course my head's on a swivel. There's we just always want to encourage that people don't drive like this. No, of course not. <laughs> never. We would so, never. So, so now we're in more of an open area and I'm going to slide it up into Baja mode. So let's go to Baja mode. Mud and ruts, sand and Baja. I like that they've defined between sand and Baja. Okay. All right, so then this little there's two different right ones. Pretty cool too. This is what you use to select. Yeah, the, the rotation. Modes. And then it tells me I'm in four high. I'm going to pop out the the sway bar control and it automatically engages once we get going it automatically reconnects at 20 miles an hour and above so now the shift points you hear the, ro the yeah. motor the revolutions of the motor are increased so at this point i have no money to worry about on the desert so i'm just going to pick it up a little bit and show you guys the performance of this stock little ford bronco <laughs> bigger stuff <laughs> so smooth cool. <laughs> what is your first impression I'm, of the vehicle? I, like, is this, this is great this is the best offers, course like i've driven raptors off-road i've driven any kind of jeep vehicle off-road and ut this is almost this the performance of this on high speed desert terrain is like a utv up here i'm going to show you a driving technique that helps so when you get into what's called a uh, washboard on these hills you'll feel the washboard like that right there you start to feel it yeah. well, it just gets worse and worse right so if you saw the wheel back and forth as you're going up washboard road and look at the washboard when you saw the wheel you don't feel the washboard this is deep sand it's here pretty well yeah, but, but but if i don't do it feel that yeah yeah but you saw the wheel it's back and forth well, we're just in Baja mode. We're not in sand mode yet. So this vehicle has sand mode too. Now we're in the dunes. This tumbleweed flying past us. And we, remember, <laughs> and we got 30, 30 pounds of PSI. Let's just say you're in an area you don't want to get. There's a big, um, a big obstruction. You're in a canyon, or you got to make a real tight turn. So here we have trail turn assist. 
trail turn assist. Yep, so you put trail turn assist on, and I'm gonna turn the wheel, and we're gonna just crab this thing. It's a front dig. This thing has a front dig version. You guys both are familiar with this as a front dig. This what do you think if we go sideways right this now? This is crazy. Let's do it. How about we go sideways like that? Can I get out and film this from the outside? Really <laughs> going to anything else? This is sick. I have to show you guys. This thing comes with stock front dig. See how, how tight the turn is here? That's amazing. <laughs> that is, so, that is cool. so cool. It's a cutting brake, so you were in three wheel drive essentially. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a built in cutting brake. These engineers at Ford have done such an amazing job. <laughs> These guys listened to our community. They saw what the off road community does to their vehicles and they adapted and built it into the brand new Bronco. I'm blown away. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, let's turn that off and let's, let's slide this knob around to the sand mode and let's give it a whirl see if we can make it up this big dune doing 34 miles an hour up the sand hill <laughs> this is crazy like i don't see people beat on their off-road vehicles on their built off-road vehicles as hard as he's driving this bronco <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> Our spotter John right there he's our man he's kind of spotting the desert for us and then letting us know guys that oh, look at that view he's letting us know that we uh you know when we have any uh traffic that around. nothing is oncoming yeah. yeah yeah smart so let's go over here and perch right. this thing up on this rock I got an idea for you to just see the articulation that the engineers have designed into this vehicle Flexing pretty damn good for an independent front suspension. So they figured this IFS thing out. So explain really quick, what is he doing right now? He's gonna put this vehicle into a position and realize that he's gotten himself into a position like much would happen on the trail. If you got into a position on the trail and you drove into something and then you go, uh-oh, I'm not in rock crawl mode. So he's gonna go into rock crawl mode and it turns it into rock crawl mode and it releases the sway bar under a load so you don't have to neutralize the vehicle in order to make changes on the trail uh, yeah you can just say like the whole vehicle actually just wiggled as he disconnected it exactly it's crazy we just got a small presentation of how the sway bar works we got to walk do a little walk around in it check out how well the independent front suspension works on this thing the like it flexes just as good as a straight axle the absolutely no difference but definitely improved driving behaviors so when we throw it in reverse we get a nice 360 view camera and as we pull forward it goes off so right up next to the volume of the radio you push that little camera button and it comes back on now you're in sand mode or still in Baja mode? I'm still in sand mode. So I think I'm just gonna pop in, top down these rocks right here and crank it. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so check this feature out right here. This is called One Touch. So instead of doing, so I hit that One Touch, on the screen it says one pedal drive, and I'm gonna pick a mile per hour at one, two, let's go two, two mile per hour. Now check this out. You just put it in drive? Yeah, I'm in drive. I just okay. it's a it's a really nice feature. And guess what, ladies? Okay, we're going down. We're going down <laughs> at two miles an hour. Very simple. All I do is grab the steering wheel. So it modulates the brake. So now, you have no you don't you don't do oh, here's my feet. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. See, we spent so, we spent thousands of dollars in gear reduction to do this. <laughs> yeah. In addition to that, I mean this the engineers have really designed so many parameters that are adjustable as well. I, I'm not privy to all that. I think you'd have to buy one and get the owner's manual. <laughs> well, good. 
that's what I keep having to remind myself. We're in a this stock production vehicle here. Stock, not, yeah. This is pre production. Pre production. <laughs> so, so, one of the things I like about what Ford's done here is they made a lot of these different features simple. Like, I just want, I'm done with that. I push the button, and now it's me. Now I'm going. Yeah, now I'm controlling yeah, it. Not, so, not. I don't have to wait to the bottom of the hill take it out of a load just like the sway bar I don't have to take it off of load I can go in or out at any time just like this one touch feature I like that this thing is called the goat mode <laughs> so now we're just getting up going here a little bit looking for traffic making sure we don't have anybody coming around rock crawl features let's go so, rock crawling so there is a, <laughs> there is a okay there is a uh, um, I haven't played with it yet but there is a manual shift mode where we can go manual shift okay um, on the side button much like the Raptor the Ford Raptor I think they've uh, borrowed a lot of the same concepts and performance minded people as they've developed these vehicles it's obvious that the input that was given by professional drivers and race car enthusiasts and industry people they listened and they adapted all these features right in um, it, it's so it's so impressive so let's just do that let's just we're still in sand mode which is really good and fine but let's just drive up to this hill this is a little steep let's drive up here and I'm gonna pick the right side and you you tell me which lane you want to go up but but I'm just gonna stop right here and decide to put it in rock crawl mode because I feel you're as a amateur that I might want to do that so as I I'm in drive I take the goat mode I slide it around as the um, as the features are offered and I go down to rock crawl and then it says sh for four low shift to neutral so I don't I can go up in four high or I'm gonna go to neutral, neutral and, four by four and it shift. shifts okay there it goes advanced track off in four low so now I'm gonna throw it and drive and we're gonna just go right up this hill and remember we got uh, 29 pounds, 28 pounds of 28, tire pressure. 28 pounds of tire pressure, which is crazy. Like in the sand. Right? So which, you want to go right line or left lane? Um, the pick, harder one. Pick it. Left. <laughs> Let's go to the harder one. Remember, stock production stock. vehicle. And does it have the differential locks front and rear? It does, I'm but, assuming. but that's a parameter you would have to set up. Right now, um, it, it chose just rear locker okay. and front four wheel drive. I think there's so many torque, thrust, twisting sensors in there that it probably modulates that yeah. and makes it feel like you got a front locker, but you don't feel it in the steering. No, it, I, I have it, not it, put it in front lock yet and haven't found the need to. And then on the fly, check this out. On the fly, I figure I'm going down this hill and it's not quite fast enough, so I'm going to bump it up yeah, to just like a four miles an hour. Like a, yeah. So now I think it's not fast enough, so I'm gonna go to five. It's like a it's like a cruise control, an off-road cruise control for going downhill. By the way, I really have to say the dashboard design is fabulous. And then I they, love it looks it. like they like give you, us yeah, you have some nice six auxiliary option the li yeah. light switches and auxiliary switches. So if you have your 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 aftermarket accessories, you can hook them up. You don't have to like drill holes into your dash to put switches in. It all already comes in here. You can just program whatever you want on these switches. And then you have these you have little pockets in your dash to put your phone and all kinds of other gear, which I like. All kinds of mounting points here. So I'm sure the aftermarket uh, um, market is going to go crazy around this and give you all kinds of options for additional displays and phone mounts and GoPro mounts and whatnot. This is cool, like a little, we call this an oh handle. So this is good, I like that. So I'm gonna take you down and show you that, some rock crawling stuff now on some big rocks. Coming up here thinking I'm gonna go and then I go, uh oh, the trail tightened up and what are we gonna do? So, oh, look at this, yeah. big rocks and all this. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna come over here and I got here and I go, you know what? I think I better put it in rock crawl mode. So I take my dot, my goat mode, and I throw it over to rock crawl, and you're gonna feel the sway bar and everything happen. And it says shift to low, put it in neutral. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There was the sway bar. What yep. do you think? Okay. That is cool. So now the sway bar disconnected, and now we're gonna go down and just and just go through all this. And then I'm like, oh, I'm a I'm an amateur. I'm not sure where my tires are, so I'm gonna go to this camera. I'm gonna go right there, and I'm gonna what? see my right tire and my <laughs> left tire. How do it know? And then I'm gonna come up and go, oh, I missed that rock. Okay, I think I'm good. That is so crazy. Is this vehicle capable or what? They just took this whole thing to another level for a factory vehicle. So now I want, now I just hit this button, the camera button, and now I'm on front view. I also have to say the view outside your windshield is really cool. Like you see those big hood latches right and left and the, the long, it looks like you're sitting in a classic Bronco. Yeah, we got a little rock ledge coming up. This is a pretty okay, good so decline. Pick the, and spot, pretty... pick the spot you want to go up the Straight. Ledge. Straight? Straight. Okay. On that lip right there? Uh-huh. Do you agree? <laughs> now, now, now as we approach this ledge on the screen too, we're not going to be able to see where we're going. So there we go. Now we look at the screen and we can see where we're going because all we see is sky going it's up like that. Nothing. <laughs> all right. We're going to cool. pick up some speed and head through the desert and uh, head back to Hammertown. So we'll pop it in neutral. Shift in progress. That was quick. I think we're ready to go. Let's go. Let's look around for traffic. Make sure we're good. I have to say, we drove this section here that we're on right now in a gladiator yesterday and it was a lot more bouncy than this. <laughs> said it's a little spirited ride right? oh yeah okay that's me though you know i'm not that's I, why i wanted to ride with you okay, <laughs> okay. it's not easy being me <laughs> marvin this has been great this thank is you awesome. so much for coming on a ride this is really cool sharing man. this no, with your audience you have an audience i think i want to show you the acceleration this. and and the braking are you ready i'm yes. ready so it's just like <laughs> she says yes <yeah. laughs> look, look at the braking on I mean, dirt, on loose dirt. It's we can so do that nice. <laughs> the braking? No, the accelerating. the accelerating and then the braking. That's oh. the fun part for me. <laughs> wow. I want to see how When a girl asks for something, <laughs> I try to give it to her. <laughs> oh, isn't this wonderful to see all these families out here camping? I love and, it. It is so and, cool to and see. And, you know, kids and dads, and it's not a lot of parts of the world that um, have this much. Freedom. I agree. I feel honored to be one of the first in the world to drive the Ford Bronco as a civilian. Um, honored and and to share it with with people. It's it's wonderful. I Just really, a great really, opportunity. I appreciate the ride, man. This was a great experience. And I'm blown away. I did I like this. Definitely exceeded my expectations by far. It was the best best um, best ride off road in a in a stock vehicle I've ever experienced. It's crazy better than most aftermarket vehicles I've driven in. <laughs> Definitely better than my Jeep on the high desert terrain. Incredible. And all the little neat little features like the like the cutting brake feature so, so you can turn on a dime and all the different driving modes that actually make a difference. They don't just say fancy names and have cool animations. They actually uh, really influence the driving behavior. Really, really, really cool. The camera setup on this thing where you can point the camera at your tires to see where you put your tire is really, really cool too. Interior is super comfortable. The seats are great. Everything feels good. Great quality. Like, this is a solid vehicle. Well, you might see one on the channel at some point. Who knows? Maybe. Hey, Ford, did you see this? Hook, hook, hook us up. <laughs> No, this is awesome. Marvin, you're a champion and you're a great ambassador for the sport. Thank you for coming out with uh, with me today. And thanks for taking us. Thanks for this awesome experience. This was yeah. incredible, man. I'm glad I put my foot down and requested you as a driver here today. This paid out. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank come you, on, guys. On, All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe and let us know in the comments how you like the Ford Bronco. Do you have any questions about this vehicle? Anything else that that you might want to know or yeah just your, your general thoughts about this car let us know in the comments see you guys next time bye bye